welcome back guys and if you're new to the channel please consider on hitting that subscribe button as it lets me know that you enjoy the content i'm bringing out for you guys and uh let's go ahead and have a talk here for a second guys um so i noticed that, like a lot of my algorithm you guys are not subscribed and y'all watch the videos please take time to subscribe to the channel it keeps me motivated to keep posting toward this channel um also on top of that y'all uh follow all the description descriptions in the in the description box below it takes you to the team curry bandit channel it takes you to other stuff so uh, be a part of the community and uh yeah so uh, guys for those y'all who, who have been watching the channel for a little bit i kind of know the lord of the channel this deck right here is a 2019 deck it has come back to the forefront after the fnl list and uh, i'm excited i actually started picking up so funny story is i never got to play this deck i played against it and never beat it because of just how powerful and how much it could recur so what I had did when it got banned was for that time, I just started picking it up little by little. So I have almost everything. The uh, card that's not gonna be showcased in this deck profile is uh, Sky Striker Ice Rose. I do have them on order. I'm just waiting for them at the time. And if y'all notice the one sleeve that's off, it's just because I wanted to have all the same color sleeves in the deck profile. And that's the only thing I could find was a magic sleeve. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So for hand trap lineups, we play three dash blossom and joy spring, just good against everything generically. Uh, two effect veiler, it is, it's basically your way, way into your win con. You uh, this is you summon this off Hulk and going to Slain, and it it is a good multi-purpose utility card. Um, and the fact that it, is, it you know it can negate a monster effect and that can be huge right now. I think uh, one card engines are coming back to the forefront, start now. And then I played a two droplets. Now if you can't afford droplets, um, you you can uh, play like DD Crow or play Skull Master or you could play a. Uh, Ghost Bell and Hana Mansion. So you have just so much utility in this deck, it's unreal because you have uh, so much flex spot. That's another thing I like about this deck. You don't have a lot of engine pieces, so you can put up more defense to, you know, to serve the locals at your meta or just serve whatever meta you're focusing. Three Ray, three to area zero. So Ray basically is your quick effect against you and all your links. Area zero can uh, just get you into your spells. And on top of that, if it's, pop if it's popped, you can, uh, just summon Ray from the deck for free. Uh, three of why this deck is is so good right now is Widow Anchor because it's a crackdown on Vec Veiler that had a baby. So you can just get your stuff loaded up and then you can just steal something to suit up in your Link Monsters. Uh, I decided to play two Afterburner. Just just having a pop is just good and then the Spell and Trap card. So you can basically get a uh, two pops on one card, a Spell Trap and a, and a uh, pop. So. You know, just kind of help clear the board, help go for push for game. Shark Cannon is your DD Crow in the deck. Your Jamming Waves, play one of it. One of the uh, multi row gets all your stuff uh, recurred from the grave where it goes, where it can be put face back down. What makes the deck unfair is the one engage and one Hornet drones. Um, you can tinker with whatever ratios that you want here. If you want to just put this up to two, or you want to put this up to three, that's just personal choice. I just wanted to see just different names. Um, for my pot lineup, I played two pot of desires. Uh, you only really just want to resolve this once. You don't really want to see it again. It's just a pot. Gets you into stun and it also uh, just gets a spell in the grave. And the one thing that I noticed that probably a lot of people aren't going to play, and I'm going to play this over, over the uh, Hercules base is the one pot of avarice. Uh, Hercules base just puts back your, your uh, striker stuff. This puts back anything. So if you go into light game and... Uh, so a lot of smart players nowadays will wait till you just make your access code talker and then super poly it off or deal with it. So you could just basically just play adverse and just shuffle it back in. And then they're either going to scoop or they're not winning that game by that point. Um, two Mystic Mine, because you know, this deck can play it. It's it's an unfair card. Konami should have dealt with it. Well, that's going to be on them. Now we have, you can play up to three Mine with um, Engage and Widow. This deck is just going to be so nasty. Um, Two Mystical Space Typhoon. Now, this is just good multi-purpose because you don't lose to Lancia with this card. And on top of that, you can pop your own stuff. So you can pop your fill spell, for example, just get Ray out. So this this is just a really good uh, defensive card for back row removal. Then a good one of one Rota, one Terraform. I almost didn't play Terraforming, but I just needed the, the four, uh, 40th card. Um, the reason I went not go play Terraforming is because I don't want to just lose the draw hard uh one call by the grave to stop uh, hand traps one upstart goblin one right get i mean one uh harpy's feather duster to take care of back row so that's your third back row removal that you have in the deck one right just could kind of take care of everything else and then 
the uh, last card in the deck that we play that rounds out to the 40 if it's free copies of Tikavu. So basically this is a good stun deck. You just poke him with Hayate to get him to, to get an open and then you get access to Code Talker and then you win. Uh, three Kagari just gets you any spell out of the graveyard. Three Suzuku just gets you any spell in hand. Three Hayate it just gets any spell to the graveyard and on top of that can attack directly so you could just start poking on that dam damage and that way you can just set up for your access code talker play. Um, one kind of just for the battle trick if you cut in case you just need to uh, stop something from happening you can just leave the ray up on the board and then when they go to attack you can just tag out to Kayana and it just stops her battle phase. Um, Zeke really good spot removal on the deck and it can get itself up to like I believe uh, 2500 so it can, it can be a body it can go over stuff. One Phoenix one Hita. This would be a. Uh, I will tell you guys, I am going to test what he did, but this is probably going to be Ningirsu, the World Chalice, because we need a way to really. Uh, you do got Droplet, but it's nice, nice to have another way to out Dragoon. Uh, one Christian Hakka Fibrax that goes into your Selene. Your Selene brings back your. to go into your Wincon. Wrapping up a 15 card extra deck. Okay, guys, I do not have a side deck build for this. Like I had said. Um, I might have would have put something together, but I'm just really out of these sleeves. And I'm just too lazy to de sleeve something. So um, if you enjoyed this deck profile and you want to see more deck profiles like this or more of my take on Striker in, in the future, just uh, leave a big thumbs up on the video and uh, comment, subscribe. So um, yeah, guys, we, I'll catch you on the next episode. I feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized. By the sounds I'm breathing in